The protests and pandemic on voters' minds collectively as they head to the polls tomorrow. Georgia's primary election tomorrow marks the first of three big election days on the calendar this year. Yet the campaigns have had real trouble getting traction in an era of social distancing. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live in downtown. He has more for us. Doug? So, Jeff, you would certainly think that U.S. Senator David Perdue, the Republican, is the front runner in a, in a race in November. But there is a list of Democrats who want to challenge him, who will face voters in a primary tomorrow, and who have been campaigning of sorts over the last few weeks. Uh, it has been a challenge for them. During a Black Lives Matter rally Sunday outside a downtown church, it would have been easy to overlook the masked face of former congressional candidate John Ossoff. He is now running for the U.S. Senate, but his personal appearances, like this one, have all but vanished in an era of social distancing. It was great to get outdoors uh, with the people, but um, we know we're continuing to be cautious and put public health above all. Which means Ossoff and his biggest challengers, former Columbus Mayor Teresa Tomlinson and former Lieutenant Governor candidate Sarah Riggs Amico, have been mostly relegated to virtual town halls, social media appearances, and of course, TV commercials. I certainly feel like something's missing because I have a good handshake <laughs> and uh, I am, uh, you know, born and raised in Georgia, so I love to, uh, you know, slap people on the shoulder and um, you know, just interact with people. And so I miss that. I miss that very, very much. Yet in some ways, it's never been a better time for Democrats to run for office. The pandemic has reignited debates over the health care system. And more than a week of street protests have given voters a stark new look at criminal justice reform and race relations. Both issues have resonated in the last few weeks of the U.S. Senate campaign even if the Democrats running have been limited in their face-to-face -face exposure to voters. I think it's one of the most important dynamics we're going to see, not just in the election tomorrow, but in our country's history. So and there are other races that we will be following on the ballot tomorrow that will be of great interest. Uh, one is the 7th Congressional District, which has uh, seven Republicans and six Democrats trying to replace John or Rob Woodall. Uh, there are also in the 9th District to replace uh, Congressman Doug Collins. There are nine Republicans on the ballot for that race, too. There are also nine Republicans on the ballot in the 14th Congressional District to replace Tom Graves. So a lot to report tomorrow night, but uh, the campaigning that we are accustomed to seeing has not exactly been the same, Jeff. Yeah, I, I moderated the 14th District debate, and it was very spirited. A lot of these races are, are really <laughs> full of a lot of very strong opinions these days, and oftentimes it's within their own parties. So it will be curious to see what happens tomorrow. Right. Doug Richards reporting live for us from downtown Atlanta.